are here in beautiful Tanzania in the northern part of the country at Tarangiri National Park. I'm so excited to be here. We actually just arrived from Zanzibar and it was a bit of a trek to get out here. We had two flights from Zanzibar to Kilimanjaro, then Kilimanjaro to Arusha, then Arusha to Lake Manara, and then Lake Manara to Kuro Airport, which is actually in Tarangiri National Park. So that was our last stop, but then we we're picked up and it's about a three hour game drive from where the airport is to where we're staying. So I'm happy that we finally made it, but we'll be here for four nights. So we'll have about three, three and a half days to explore the park and the surrounding area. So we're hoping that we'll get to see most of the big five, which are lions, leopards, wildebeest, <laughs> elephants and rhinos. So the park actually has all of those except for rhinos. So we think we'll get to see most of them. And they also have honey badgers. So I'm pretty excited and hopeful that we'll see one of those maybe during our night safari. So let's get going. <laughs>
Look how nice this is for our last brekkie. Aww. Such a nice breakfast setup. So it is our last few hours here in Tarangiri. We are headed to the airport and it's been an amazing couple of days here. We've seen and learned so much. Last night in particular was pretty amazing because on two separate occasions we came, I'd say within like 10 feet of like a fully grown, magnificent, male elephant it was incredible one of them was on our way back to our tree house because uh the camp we were staying at is actually just outside of Tarangiri national park in what's known as the wildlife management area so the park itself is not enclosed there's no fence or anything around the boundary and so animals can sort of wander freely in and out of the park um, and previously this led to a lot of conflict between like local Maasai tribes because the animals would come out of the park and could destroy crops or kill some of their cattle and so there's been a lot of human animal conflict and also and also it, it makes elephants in particular vulnerable to poaching and so in recent years they've created a um, wildlife management area that's managed by local rangers and so they kind of help monitor and and surveil the animals and make sure they don't wander too far out and also have outreach programs with local tribes that that help reduce you know any conflict and any retaliation against the animals so it's pretty incredible because then there are two local i guess they call them resident resident uh elephants that that wander through the camp in particular and so we saw one pretty pretty close up oh, it was pretty mm -hmm. cool it was amazing yeah it was pretty great and just to see them kind of like wander like that in the nighttime because i feel like you you don't really see that even in like documentaries and stuff so i think that was probably one of the highlights of my trip very impressive pretty incredible. Sad to be leaving, but we have one more night here uh, in Tanzania. We'll be spending it in Arusha, so see a bit of the town, and then back to Turkey.